Hello my beautiful Virgos, we're going to get straight into this general love reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Who is it, oh, who is it that is thinking about you Virgo? The cards took a while to come out and now we have this and I just want to tuck my teeth. Whoever it is that's thinking about you, we pick up on a karmic connection, we pick up on somebody that actually zodiac signs it could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio it could also be a libra it doesn't have to be those signs but we get karmic energy the karmic energy is coming from a connection where somebody was dishonest to you maybe they want to make things right maybe it's too late maybe there's too much water under the bridge dishonest there was imbalance this is somebody that needs to take responsibility for their past actions, but they won't. Maybe they're a gaslighter, maybe they're a narcissist. But there's consequences when you treat people like crap. And I feel whoever it is that's thinking about you treated you like crap in some sort of way. They probably lied to you, they didn't treat you fairly. Mm -hmm. And they didn't take responsibility for their actions. What were their actions? Well, for some of you guys, with the oh the birds are going crazy with the knight of cups here in the reverse position this is somebody that missed the signs this is somebody that they're very guarded you know their heart is very guarded all that glitters isn't gold maybe once upon a time in the upright position they wooed you there was dating there was courting there was romance here but in the reverse position this is someone that's not open to love when you kind of like really when the cracks start to show virgo a player somebody that's jealous territorial moody sulking um <clears throat> negative emotions pessimistic energy that blocks progress that blocks progress in this connection and ultimately they were a disappointment they disappointed you they're not in touch with their emotions and again all that glitters is a gold now with the queen of cups here i highly suggest that your intuition knew this was coming or you picked up on their energy from the get-go maybe there were red flags sent by the universe but you brushed it under the carpet because you want to see the good in people this is somebody that you were very compassionate to, somebody that you probably were sent to heal and you led with your heart and you used your emotional intelligence and you were very understanding and the love that you gave was unconditional. But ultimately, there's a disappointing energy here. This person disappointed you in some way. So that's who I'm getting with regards to who that is thinking about you. Bear in mind, I could be talking about one person in this reading or multiple people. Only you would know Virgo. So moving on to who is it that's wanting Virgo? Who wants Virgo? Who wants Virgo? Who wants Virgo? For some of you guys, I see family ties here. Maybe you cut someone off from your family and they're wanting you back. Not knowing how to reach out to you. Expecting you to reach out to them. And if it's not family members, there was an ending here. Okay, It could be the same person that I was talking about previously. Things came to an end. There was some sort of betrayal. <coughs> Excuse me. This Ten of Pentacles is longevity, it's commitment, it is long term. For some of you guys, it is a family situation. It could be a past relationship or connection. What does the future hold? With regards to this person that wants you, that's what I'm hearing. What does their future hold? They're wondering. They're wondering if you're going to reach out to them. They're expecting you to reach out to them. They're expecting a visit from you. This is somebody that's at a crossroads, in limbo in their life. What does the future hold with Virgo? Are we going to get through this? Are we going to live together? Are we going to be together? And so forth. We'll probably clarify 
some of these cards. Who truly loves Virgo? 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 It's one more card. Who truly loves Virgo? Page of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Temperance card interesting i just saw five 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 so there's been changes here the page of cups on the bottom of the deck indicates that there's still love here um feelings haven't truly gone there could be an apology coming up for some of you guys we get sagittarius energy we also get twin flame soulmate energy here things were exciting things were fun once upon a time but there's there's been um a period of healing <clears throat> a period of trying to find balance maybe the person that truly loves you is trying to sort out their life trying to figure out their life but it was fun with you virgo it was secure foundations were strong maybe you guys dance together i see dancing i see singing music laughter twin twin flame soulmate energy so we're going to clarify some cards, then we're going to see what's coming towards you in love, okay? With regards to the person that's thinking about Virgo, tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Let's find out more about this Knight of Cups, shall we? This disappointment, this player. Why is the Knight of Cups here? So, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. This person abandoned you. They broke your heart. They're very independent. Their main, their main focus is around their work. They work hard. They're trying to build their life. All this love is too much for me. It's all too overbearing. I'm unable to express my love. So I fall back to me. I do what I know is safe for me. And that is work. That is work on my shit work on my foundations there's a, a strong ethic with regards to finances here and uh overly independent i don't need nobody type of energy and we all know that's far from the truth right because we're social beings we need each other with regards to the person that wants virgo tell me more about this ten of swords tell me more about this ten of swords There's somebody that wants to have a conversation here with you with regards to who is it that wants you. They want to speak their mind. There's somebody here that comes across as a bit cold, a bit logical, a bit rigid. But they want to cooperate. They want to have a conversation. They want to learn from this. Are we able to start again? Very noisy outside, huh? With regards to the person that truly loves Virgo, tell me more about this Four of Wands. Tell me more about this four of wands. So I feel like there's somebody here that wants to. There's somebody here that misjudged the situation. Again, I pick up on this first question energy. Misjudged you, judged you wrongly. Um 
judge the situation wrongly and they're wondering how can I make things right? How can I mend this? When's the right timing? How do I pursue this? How do I move forward? How do I, how and when do I make my move? Okay, what's coming towards Virgos and love? Ouch. What's coming towards Virgos and love? Whoa. What's coming towards Virgos and love? I know I let you down, Virgo. I know I lied to you, deceived you, tre tr treated you wrongly. I know I broke your heart. But I still love you. You're still in my energy. Can we start again? Can we start afresh? Pay attention to your dreams, Virgo. I feel like the tables have turned. The tables have reversed. And now you're in a state of mind where, no, I'm going to work. I'm going to find my happiness. I want peace. I'm going to follow my dreams. I'm going to stabilise. I'm going to move away from love. I'm walking away. I'm going to see shit for what it is. Good things are going to come my way, you know. Good things are going to come your way, Virgo. Anyway, I don't know if that's going to resonate with you in any way. Remember, you can book me for a personal reading. Just get in touch. You can follow me on the socials and you can catch me for live tarot. Wherever you are in the world, Virgo, as I always say, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you and the gift. It will catch you on the rebound. Take care, my loves. Mwah.